Hello everyone, today we are going to continue with the development of our application here on the right side. Last time we ended up that we added this navigation bar and also the bottom navigation bar and we cared about the different theming we have here in our app. So let's try to implement the next thing. We go here and we want to implement this list here and also a divider between. So first of all let's add the small divider, it's not a big case. We go here back to our build method and here we have this text showcasing the finest food. This text is in a column so many widgets are shown underneath of each other and here the next property in this column we can add here two things. First of all we add here the size box so we have a little bit spacing between the divider which will appear later here and then we will also add a little bit spacing after it. After hot reload we see we have here spacing, we have then this divider and here after it, when we add another item it will also have a little bit spacing. Now the next thing what we want to do is to create a widget where we have here an image, a title and a description and I have added here already this showcase so we have many showcases later and every showcase has an image, a title and an owner which is the gray text below our title. So let's create this new widget. We simply go here and call it showcase widget and here we want to add this model which I showed you before. So we will add here this showcase model. Now we go to our build method where we want to create a column so that we show multiple widgets underneath and here inside we want to show an image which we get from our showcase property and we later load these showcases which I have here in our data folder and here we have different images, a title and an owner. So we have here some sample showcases and the images itself I have stored inside here of our folder. So we have here different kind of images which we will show later in our application. And below this image we want to show some info and therefore we create here another method. So I will simply copy it quickly which is just having a column here and it is showing two simple texts with a little bit spacing between. Set here font bold size for the title so that we have here font text size and we also want to set here the text theme to caption so that we get automatically this gray color here. Around our thing we want to add a margin horizontal so that we have a little bit spacing to our left and to our right. Let's just implement it right now into our application. So we go here back to our main file and here under our widgets we want simply to show it. So let's add it here and we want to add the showcase property and I will simply take this property which I have here, showcases, and we need to import it here. So it will refer to this variable here which we have stored in our data file and I will simply take the first item which is in this case the Leto Cafe London United Kingdom and if we hot restart our application, let's simply test it. We get here first of all an error because we have here an overflow. So we change our column here to a list view and a list view makes the content here above scrollable. So if our widgets here below our navigation bar take more height than it is possible here right now, then we are able to scroll here. After we hot restart our application, we have here then this image and we can scroll to the bottom and here we have also this title and the owner itself. I think it's pretty cool but if we compare it here to our image it's not the same right. First of all we will want to set these here to a different column so we will add here a column. Later we can extract it if we want it. Pretty simple. And if we go back here to our image we see that we have here a list of images which are shown next to each other and in different kind of sizes and therefore we need a plugin to make this happen because with the Flutter Core library we can program it but there's also a plugin which will help us. So we go here to pub.lang.org and type in staggered grid view and here the first one Flutter staggered grid view we select and then we go directly to the installing section and here we copy this dependency and then we go to our root project then we go to our pub spec jaml file and here we simply add it here to our dependencies. So we have to add it here under our dependencies. I add it here to the last position. And now we also need to restart our application and it's really important that we get the dependencies. And now let's restart our application here. And then we need to go to our main dart file here again. 
And instead of sharing this showcase simply, we will do another thing. So we go here with a staggered grid view, which is the object which we got from our plugin. And if we go back, we also need to go here to our installing section again and then import this statement here. And we will simply copy it into our application here at the top. And now we have here different options for our staggered grid view. Um, and we will go with the count builder. And now we have here some properties which we have to supply. So we have here all time the required symbol at the beginning. So we need to set them. First of all, the cross axis count and we need to set them here to four. The next thing what we need to do is to set the item builder. If you go here with control over this item builder, you see what you need to pass. Build context and an integer. So let's do it quickly. And here we want to return a showcase widget which we created before. Let's simply copy and paste it here. And here we simply get rid of this showcases first because we don't want to show every time the first item. And here we simply get the index and we set it here to the index. Therefore we also need to add here a count. So we have here an item count which we simply set to showcases.length. And now this item builder knows how many times it should go and build these items. In this case we have here, I think we have six items. It then will go over this item builder six times and will every time render all of our objects here. The next thing what we need to do is to create here also the staggered tile builder. And what we need to supply is, is simply a function and we need to return a staggered tile and we want to fit it to two. So let's restart our application quickly. And if we restart our application here, we see nothing. And it's the case because we have here a staggered grid view added, which is a scrollable widget. And here this list view at the top, which is wrapped around it, is also a scrollable widget. And this cannot happen in Flutter that we have a scrollable widget and inside also a scrollable widget. So we need to change it here to a not scrollable widget. And that's what we can do if we go here and have the property shrink wrap. And if we set it to true, so it will not be scrollable anymore. And after we hot restart our application, we can scroll here around. So I will tap here above the image currently. But if we tap directly on this image, nothing will happen. So we can try here to scroll around, but nothing will happen because we set it here to shrink wrap true. What we can do to make scrollable this content, we have here another property which is simply called primary and we set it here to false. So we say to this staggered grid view widget that it is not self the primary widget which is responsible for scrolling. So another widget like a parent widget which is wrapped around it is responsible for it. And in our case, the list view is wrapped around it and so it will be the primary scrolling widget. So let's restart our application. And now we can, even if we tap here on our image, we can then also scroll around and not only above our image. So you can test it out on your own, get rid of this property and you will see that you are not able to scroll. And if you set it here to false, you can then also scroll on the images itself, which is pretty nice. So the next thing what we need to do is to create here a little bit spacing between the items that we get kind of similar view to our design here. So the first thing what we want to do is to add the space here after our items. And that's what we can do if we go to our count builder, shrink wrap. And here we have another property which is simply called main axis spacing. So we add spacing to the main axis direction, which is to the bottom. If we hot reload it, you see we have here spacing after every item. And we also need to add spacing here between these items. And therefore we have another one, which is simply called cross axis spacing. And here we go with 12. And after hot reload, we have here also the spacing between. And if we go back here to our application, we see also that we have here to the left and to the right spacing. So that's what we also want to change here. And luckily we have here also another property, which is simply called padding. And here we set a padding of 12 to all sides. So we set it here to the left side of padding, to the top, to the right side. And also if we scroll down to the bottom of our list. So let's restart our application. And now we have this kind of list of images and items and we can scroll here around and have here also all these spaces like it is shown here in our image. And another thing we need to do is if you take here a close look, we have here this overlaid image on top of our general image. So that's what we also want to add to complete the 
design challenge here. Therefore, we go here into our showcase widget, which is responsible for showing this image, this title and this description or this owner title here. And here we have this image. And what we want to do is to wrap it around with the stack. So let's take a column and here we say stack. And the other thing we need to do is to make this image itself also rounded. It has here a rounded corner. So let's do it quickly. We go here and wrap our image asset into a new widget, which is simply called clip are rect. And here we have another property which is called border radius. And here we want to go with a border radius of eight. So if you hot reload our application, then we get this uh, rounded corner around all of our edges here. And the next thing what we want to do then is to display this little image here. So we simply add here to our stack at the end, this icon, image icon. And if we hot reload it quickly and we see this image icon, the next thing what we want to do is to add here a white box around it which is rounded and I will keep this color I, I like this color more than the other one this gray is not really nice so I will keep it in this black color but if you like you can change it we will then wrap this icon here itself into another widget which is simply called material and there we have a lot of properties which we can use to manipulate our widget. And here we have two properties. First of all, we want to set a color and we set it to white. And after hot reloading, we get this white background here, which is pretty cool. The next thing what we want to do is to make this widget also rounded. And therefore this material widget has also a property which is called shape. And here we want to add the rounded rectangle border. And this itself has a border radius. And here we can set the border radius to all sides and then add here radius circular of eight. And if we hot reload our application, you see every side has here corner around it, but we only want to add it here to the right side, to the right bottom side to be more precise. Therefore we change it here instead of all, we say only. So we want to go here with the bottom right. If we hot reload it again, then you see we have got this rounded corner only at the bottom right side. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!